Maybe you have heard about this cool new database called SurrealDB. Maybe you even deployed it by watching a video on this channel. But now you want to use it with a shiny new JavaScript framework, like Next.js or ZvelteKit. Well, you came to the right place, and in three minutes, you will know everything you need to get started. First, a quick reminder. SurrealDB is a new Swiss Army Knife database that does almost everything. It's written in Rust, is blazingly fast, and is made by two awesome workaholic brothers. Now that you know this, we can start. We will be using the SurrealDB NPM package. It is the same one for both client and server-side code, but to hide my connection strings, I will stick to using it on the backend. Since I am lazy, I will create a Next.js application with all the basic settings they propose, like TypeScript and ESLint. While this is running, I also will start a local instance of SurrealDB. With the basic repo done, we can now get to business. We will install the npm package and restart our development server. What we will want is a convenient method to quickly get a database connection instance. For this, we can create a surreal.ts file under a lib folder. In this file, we can import the package and connect to the database using a namespace in a database name. If these don't exist, they will get created by the package. Lastly, we just have to return the database instance to be used. With this done, we now have access to everything we need to create a CRUD application. You can decide to perform complex queries using the query method, or you can use the simpler CRUD operation methods, which are named conveniently create, select, update, and delete. To use these methods, you can simply pass a string as the first argument. The string is the table and ID separated with a colon. The create and update method will also have a second parameter to specify the data you are sending into the database. It is simply an object of key value pairs. All of these methods will work really well to manipulate your data from either API routes or generating pages on a server with GET server-side props. You just have to import your database instance and you can get to work. And this is why I like so much SurrealDB. It's a no-fuss database that has an answer for almost everything. From these simple CRUD methods to the deep SurrealQL language that Fireship explained really well in this video, there's something for just everybody in this database, and even more is planned to be released. These explainers, I hope that they will help you to get started quickly. So if you like these kind of videos, please consider subscribing to our channel as we focus exclusively on making quick and well-delivered content. Have a great day and I hope this was helpful.